Joey LaValle, an NCAA finalist in the blue. Yeah, two NCAA finalists on yeah. the mat right now. Arm spin comes through, but nothing there. When Hayden decides to cut loose, he's got all sorts of tricks up his sleeve. Throws caution to the wind and just goes for it. We get some exciting stuff. LaValle crouches back. Both of these guys like to kind of crouch low. So we'll see who can go the lowest. Get that leverage. Just like his brother, Hayden likes the underhook. We'll see Trent throw them later. We'll see if any equipment gets damaged. Should right we now, scoot back a little bit? Should we? <laughs> we have to. A little too close to the map. I'm going to hide behind Izzy in the camera here. And yeah. They can, they can protect us. Sorry, Izzy. Aiden loves that. Both the Heidleys really love that underhook, and they work well from that position. see an activity clock soon. Someone's going to on the clock. And they're pointing at blue as the Valley tries a little pass by. After 90 seconds, if there's no score, you can expect the refs to work towards uh, making sure somebody goes on the clock. And it is going to be Joey LaValle is going to go on the clock first. And again, those cautions, they're not um, the passivity warnings. They're not, uh, they're not stall calls. There's a more uh, inevitability to them. They have to be called in certain instances, so it's kind of hard to decide who is being passive or not. Sometimes it's a 50-50, and you just have to roll with it. Yeah, making sure somebody gets on the scoreboard, so somebody's winning, somebody's losing. At all times, after the end of the first period, you'll have a winner and a loser throughout the rest of the match. You know, when, when they changed the freestyle rules from the periods to, you know, when you had to win two, two out of three periods. Two out of, yeah, everything was two out of three. To 2013, when they did it, and they changed it to the current rule set, essentially. It was like the shot clock. I was like, this is stupid. But I actually <laughs> come to like it. There's, a, there's a, a, several moves that maybe don't make intuitive sense, but you watch enough freestyle matches and then you watch enough folk style matches and some things start to click a little bit more. Certainly the shot clock and criteria. Can leave that whole discussion for another time, but um, you can't really argue too much with the product on the mat. As we go to the break, low score and a fair. Not so much action in this one. We had that arm spin right in the beginning for Hydley. Yep. Uh, LaValle gives up the activity clock point. Otherwise, not too much. And so, you know, you, you got to think if the, the second period looks a lot like the first, likely that Hayden Heidler will go on the shot clock unless he really, really makes it clear that he's being more aggressive. It's LaValle from Reno, Nevada, where he is originally from, then on to Missouri. Hayden Heidler originally from Pennsylvania, then down to North Carolina. LaValle had a solid uh, semifinal win over Ja'Cory Teamer, a late score on that one, to give him the win. He was fired up, man. I tell you, he was super excited. Very happy with yeah, that win. Heidley's bring the intensity, no doubt. No, LaValle I'm talking about. And LaValle. <laughs> I heard Heidley when you said that. I was thinking of... I hope I didn't say Heidley. Maybe Trent's match. Anyway, thank you for the correction, Mark. Anytime. Uh, yeah, LaValle Teamer, that was 6-5. Go watch that one in the archives. Oh, and close, close a couple times. LaValle able to circle himself back to the center. Trent with that, or excuse me, Hayden with that underhook on the left side driving in. Finally, he's going to get LaValle out of bounds, so he'll put the first offensive point on the board. He'll go up 2 nothing and uh, avoid potentially going on the shot clock. LaValle sitting down on his haunches. He's now with 
the uh, Lehigh Valley Wrestling Club. That's Coach Buxton in his corner. So making a few moves around the map, but that's an excellent coach. Sometimes when, program. People, sometimes when people wear hats and masks, it's a little tough to, to see who it is. Not with Buxton. You can just, it's just <laughs> pretty Especially when he stuff. starts walking. Yeah. And who stepped out first? I don't know. I thought, uh, even though Hayden was moving forward, I thought he stepped out first. Yeah, so and they're going to give it. They're going to give it to the Valley. Yeah, referee says one red, but uh, table judge and chair say it's LaValle's point as he rocks back and forth. Squatting position, it's two to one. So if LaValle can find his way to uh, another step out, he'll take the lead on criteria. Yeah, all one point scores. Snap there from Hydley. 40 seconds to go. Hydley planted right in the center. A couple, couple of shots, attempts again from the Valley. Can't get through that. 20 second sprint. Defense of Hydley. Valley 17 runner up at the NCAAs. Hydley 2018 runner up. 10 seconds. One of them is going to be runner up here at the 2021 Senior Nationals. Looking like it's going to be LaValle, and that's going to do it. Hayden Hydley, 2 1. Final score, your winner. Hayden looks at the clock. He expected a little bit more out of his performance, but he's going to walk away a champion, so can't be too 